Yeah, no, uh, obviously Smitty continues to have really good at-bats. Um, you know, the doubles yesterday, I mean, the home runs today. Uh, Lynn found one. Obviously, Seegers, I looked up today, and I think I saw him hitting like 274, and I was thinking, oh, my gosh. You know, the first of May, I think he was hitting 174 or 147, something like that. So it says a lot for what he's done here over the last, you know, 25, 30 games and really our entire club. You know, everybody's pitched in at one point or another, so uh, great, great effort. Talk so much about getting guys on and over and in and the conga line and everything else. Does the power surprise you from what you thought you were going? I, I didn't think we'd lead the league or be at the top in, in home runs, but then again, you know, we're getting contributions from everybody. You know, uh, Dayhole Lee chips in seven. I mean, Lynn is starting to heat up. Smitty's got six or seven. You know, Cruz, Cano, kind of ahead of what Robbie usually does home run wise, but it's it's come from everybody. You know, so when that happens, you know, good things good things can happen and. Uh, it's fun to watch. Uh, you know, it's not going to be there every day. That's why you continue continue to hear me talk about the quality of bats, grinding the at bats, because those home runs are not going to be there every day. But I certainly enjoy it when they are. Yeah, the play was early in the game when Manny decided to send Seth, and really things took off after he got that call. And came. It really was a crucial play in the game. Um, you know, the big home run. <clears throat> you know, after it really broke the game open. Uh, bang bang at the plate. Uh, you know, pretty good slide. He, he barely got in there. Uh, you know, Manny is very aggressive by nature. I uh, don't have an issue with it at all. I was glad he was safe. It's tough with the, as good as the middle of our lineup is swinging the bat. You know, you don't want to help the pitcher out there and, and let him off the hook. But, you know, he was in there. Uh, it was a big play in the game. The first 10 runs were scored with two outs. Is that another thing that this team is really good at? Well, I just, you know, you don't try to do too much. You don't throw away uh, at bats or innings. You just get on base and see what the next guy can do and, and go from there. So uh, it's nice to see. You know, guys are, are just, like I said, just having a good at bat. You know, you're not always going to get hits. It's not always going to work out that way, but today, a number of times, it certainly did. During the Twins series, you talked about patience and believing in the club. Is this kind of what you were talking about? Yeah, before? you know, you're going to have, you know, we didn't pitch good uh, against the Twins, and, and they played well. Uh, you're going to have, you know, little bumps in the road like that, but you, you've got to stay consistent uh, with, with how we go about our business and, and our process. And like I said, we, we believe in each other. Uh, we believe in ourselves, and you know, we'll just keep plugging along, and hopefully we look up and we're in a really good spot once we get deeper in the season. You said uh, early in the season you weren't sure if Safeco Field played fairly, and to come back and ask you in a few months. Um, after well, the- certainly yeah. days like today, you know, when, it, when it's, it's sunny and it's a little warmer, uh, the ball does jump pretty good here uh, at times, and we also got guys that can hit it a long way, you know, so that, that lines up with it as well. I think, uh, um, you know, is it fair? It's it's fair if you're winning. It's not fair if you're losing. How's that? <laughs> you know, I think that's about as simple as you can make it. Uh, there, there's some nights, and we've seen plenty of those, and the, the, the 55 degree night with the ball in the left center kind of hangs up there and dies. Uh, and there's other days like today, it just kind of keeps going. So, uh, taking advantage of it, uh, but it's not something that we talk about. It really isn't. Just go out and, like I said, have good at bats, square some balls up, and then take our chances from there. Skipper, what was most impressive with Kuma today? Uh, I think they, you know, used his fastball. I thought his slider was better, along with his split finger, uh, the, the finish to the pitches. Um, you know, and, and the key for Kuma, a number of first pitch strikes, uh, not getting behind in the count, and then he can really go to all of his pitches. But uh, happy with his outing. Uh, I thought he was very aggressive early in the game. Uh, wasn't really feeling for it. He was just, just letting it go. And like I said, the finish to his pitches, the, the sharpness to the split and the slider were really good today. For a while, it looked like a no-hitter. We don't talk about those things. <laughs> no, he did. He had it going on. There's no doubt. And, um, you know, we had a lot of runs up there, um, so it allowed him to continue to be aggressive and, and not nibble. But, you know, those guys can hit over there, too. And, and uh, But, yeah, he did. He was clean there for about four, I think, four innings. So. Was there anything that needed to be put behind after the three games against Minnesota? Was it just... Okay, the next two? Yeah, new team coming in. Got to start over. Um, you know, Minnesota played well. We did not. There's nothing you can really do other than, you know, talking about with our pitchers. We made some mistakes, and, and they didn't miss them. You know, they hit, they hit home runs against us, and, you know, it's going to happen through the course of the year. You'd like to say you're never going to lose three, four, five in a row, but it, it is going to happen. And on the flip side, you know, hopefully we'll continue this going right now, you know, get into San Diego and then on into Texas.